Welcome back everyone to MLB The Show 19 and the Tanner Patrick Road to the Show series. Now last time uh, he was drafted by the Orioles and today we'll be going over the first two series and his debut as a Bowie Bay Sox here in minor league. He's hitting second, which makes sense. I mean, he is arguably the speediest guy on the roster with 90 speed. But fun fact, he's not the only guy from that Central Division team. Curtis Presley got drafted to Baltimore as well. He was a teammate on the Central Division team during the draft situation. So I thought that was awesome that, uh, he, he kind of got a guy you can maybe try and be friends with quickly then. We'll talk about that part of the uh, game now when that comes up. That won't be this episode. That is one of my favorite new things about this game is the rivalry and friendship meters you can work with. Now, some have said they don't want a lot. Uh, uh, some have said they want all the, all the uh, talking points. Some said only the important ones. When it's stuff like this, the debut into double uh, A or triple A or being traded, all that, you're definitely going to see. When it's stuff that really doesn't matter, you're not going to see those talking points. So the dialogue will only be kind of the ginormous important ones. When it's just giving me stuff for training, you're not going to probably see that. Or even for the times two bonuses. But other than that, you will see the important stuff. Like his introduction to uh, all of the... All of the... What, what were they? Skill traits that got introduced at the uh, beginning of the game. The Captain, Maverick, Heart and Soul, and Lightning Rod. The one thing I did hate about this is you had to ask about at least one. I knew about all of them already. They introduced them at the beginning of the game. I didn't need to know. Whatever. So he got his introduction and it's off to his debut against the Harrisburg Senators in Riverboat Field where he'll face Eric Freddy as the weirdest, or probably Fetty, as the weirdest spelling of last name I have ever seen. However, He's, he had a, you know, subpar season last year with his ERA at five, a little over five. But here we go. The debut of Tanner Patrick. One out, no one on, batting number two in the lineup. And, hey, he starts with a, he starts with a ball. Now, you won't see every single pitch thrown in every game. The first at-bat probably of every game I show, you'll probably see the um, the first at-bat of every series, I should say, that's shown. You'll probably see every single pitch, but you will not see every pitch thrown this time around. Solely because that's just too much, and I want to make sure we keep these videos at a nice pace. And I will more than likely sim a little bit of the... Uh, seasons just to move fairly quick you guys will see probably most of the year more so than see a ton of simulating so 2-1 count in comes the pitch and it's a splitter low once again another swing and miss so we're sitting at a 2-2 count at the first at-bat in the Bowie Bay Sox career. Tanner Patrick, and he gets a hit. It just dribbles, though, to the second baseman, and that is going to be an out for his first career at-bat. A little disappointing there, if you ask me. Now second at-bat. We're already at a 2-2 count. Bowie's up 5 to nothing, so there's a positive. Here in the uh, top of the second, he'll swing past that one to uh, strike out and get thrown out. So a simple 0-2 uh, beginning for Patrick. But here come the dynamic challenges this season. You get additional attribute bonuses if you can uh, win these challenges. So he's got to drive in a run. K 
can he do so with the bases juiced in the top of the third? He hits it, will it, bloop in. Indeed it will, and that is a RBI, well, two RBI single. So there it is, the first uh, completed challenge. The first career hit for Tanner Patrick and his first RBIs of the year. More than likely not going to see a ton of home runs out of Patrick saying that he does not have that power in his arsenal. But hey, hits like that will uh, drive in plenty as long as somebody's on base. We haven't seen much fielding, and I will spoil some things. Not a lot of exciting fielding in uh, this episode, so uh, you're not going to see a ton of that. But it's an easy catch here for Patrick to get the out. And hey, you got to see a little bit of his play at center field. It may not be flashy all the time, but you got to see at least a bit. Tanner, Patrick. So it's his first at bat following the uh, two RBI single, top of the sixth. Nobody on. He leads off. And he's just going to ground this one second base again. Has an affiliation for that second baseman. And it's just going to be an easy out as he is simp packing again. Leading off for Bowie. Now back up to the plate for his fifth opportunity today. Can Patrick hit at least two balls in open field? Leading off the top of the ninth, 7-3 Bowie on top. And it looks like, no, never mind. I was about to say it looked like that one was going to fall, but no taken away once again by the second baseman and that is going to end this game Bowie takes it home seven to I think it's seven to three could be wrong about that either way Bowie takes it home Tanner Patrick at least gets his first career hit out of the way may not have got anything else but he at least gets his first career hit out of the way now so on to the second game of this series as Patrick hitting a 200 average with his two RBIs after one. Man on second. It's a 1-0 count. And Patrick gets under it just to pop it up as that's just going to leave the man at second and nowhere for Patrick to go. Top of the third here with a 3-2 ball game. Bowie on top of the Senators. And on the first pitch, he's swinging. And it's another pop-up. And out is Patrick again. He's not having the uh, best start here. Top of the fifth now as uh, the Senators are on top. And how? How do they take it away from him again? It looked once again like he had another base hit. But well, once again, they got to just swoosh in there and take away the little bit of joy Tanner Patrick gets. As a challenge of hitting a single or better here at the top of the eighth. First pitch swinging, and that's just going to be a ground out to second. No uh, completed challenge there. As top of the ninth here, two men on. It's a 4-6 ball game. If Patrick can at least bring one of them in, he does a good thing. And that is a single that is going to load the bases. So the base is now juiced with only one out. As long as it's not a ground as long as it's not a ground out into a double play, we are good. Chris Davis has the power. There's a chance. With the bases loaded, can Davis bring us home? He bunts, and last I checked, Chris Davis ain't fast. So that's it as they get the double play from home to first. And Harrisburg will take it. So it's a 1-1 situation in the first series of the game. And Tanner Patrick, positive, the positive part of this, he's got two hits. One in each game now. The center fielder. As his first at-bat here in the uh, third game of the series. 
And he's going first pitch, swinging again, and it gets taken away from him again from the second baseman. Shouldn't have gone after that one, but nonetheless, it had a chance. Bottom of the third, Senators on top, one nothing here. It's Patrick Fielding, and can he get there? No, he can't as he slides late, and it goes right behind him. And that's going to be a double for, I believe, that was Ken O'Connor who picks up the double as we now head to the top of the four. 2 nothing centers on top. Patrick once again. First pitch hitting. And it's a bang-bang play, which I think he was safe. I'm not going to lie. I felt he got there in time. But either way, it's another out as we go to the top of the sixth. This one, though, goes over the top of the third baseman, lands in, and that's going to be his third hit in a game. So, or I should say, uh, third game with a hit. There we go. As a steal here, he slides in, and he is safe. So the speed coming into play, and he gets even faster now with the upgrade there off the steal. Sadly though, Patrick would not move any further. That steal was his highlight in the base running for uh, the top of the sixth. So we head to the bottom of the sixth now is that ball in the air. Patrick going under it, gets under it, and throws it to the cutoff, man. is It's still only 2 nothing. Now here in the top of the eighth, still 2 nothing. Bowie really not out of it yet. Patrick first pitch hitting. Back to the second baseman, and he's thrown out as it is another one-hit ball game from the looks of things. And indeed it will be Senators take game three. And Bowie drops to one and two on the year, but Patrick once again looking at the positives. For Tanner Patrick, he at least has a hit never ball game so far. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now head we to uh, Richmond. It was a four-game series. Patrick didn't play one of the games. He got a rest day. So on to the uh, new series against the Richmond Flying Squirrels. First at bat here for Patrick in this one, and he'll just take that. Not going to worry about it. So we'll be seeing more than likely the... Uh, the whole at bat here. As second pitch comes in, and it's going to be another ball. That's 2 0 now. Nicholson not wanting to give, uh, or I'm sorry, Nicholas not wanting to give Patrick anything to go after. Apparently, he's scared of the contact. Third pitch right down the middle. Patrick just sits on it. Okay, then. One strike. And that one is literally right down the middle of the strike box. 2-1 count. In comes the pitch. And it's taken right up the middle. It's taken by the shortstop. And once again, I call that bang, bang. And they call him out. I don't see how his 90 speed isn't fast enough to get him there in time. I'm just saying. It's top of the fourth, still a scoreless ball game, and that is a hit pitch as that is an out. Grounded out to the shortstop once again. So now we go to the third at bat here. Dynamic challenge once again. As he cannot record an out within the first four pitches. So it's a no one count here, and well, he's gonna air it out, and that is flied out to right field as Patrick will not get the uh, attribute boost for that challenge. It is a buoy lead though. Even more so now at the top of the eighth. Three nothing base Sox on top as that is the worst uh, swing I think I've ever had. Mainly because I swung after the ball had already gone past me. That is a strikeout there for uh for Patrick as now we head in to the bottom of the ninth, 3-1, and that one drops. Patrick gets it, 
Throws it to the pitcher. He does not have the arm to get it to uh, home in time. That's definite. So it's a one-point ball game, but Bowie will hold off. They'll take it. And disappointingly, the uh, hit streak for Tanner Patrick ends. It comes to a close and only three as he's unable to get a hit in that last ball game. And you see the numbers now, 167 average. The on-base percentage is absolutely terrible to 167. We'll see how Patrick uh, fares here. He's got another challenge to uh, draw out the at-bat to at least even or full and then get a hit. There's a 1-2 count here. One man on at first. And he's swinging at the change. He's out. And it's another strikeout for Patrick. Top third now with two out. And they give him one over the middle. That one's going to drop. And look who's back in the hit column. As Patrick able to get on first. And after a game where he did nothing. Finally gets back in the hit column. It's a 2-0 count here. I believe that's Chris Davis up. Or no, I'm sorry. That is Gund who's up. And this steal is easy. As Patrick easily in base. There is second stolen base of the season. I mean, that was as easy as it gets. He was already there by the time that ball got thrown, it seemed. Top of the fifth. one nothing. Bowie on top as Patrick would have would be stranded after that steal. And he's getting his second hit this ball game. Another single as that one bloops in. Another challenge failed as well. 3-1 count here. Gunned on the base, and he'll be able to take a walk as now Tanner Patrick moves over to second. And it looks like a change at pitcher coming for Richmond. Just a uh, meeting with the pitchers. He'll keep going. 69 pitches in. There's a grounder, and I don't think that's going to help, and no, it won't. As that's the out, the end of the inning. And we now move to the top of the second. Man in scoring position, still one nothing. Bowie on top, and Patrick grounding to the second baseman. He legs it out this time around and moves the man to third. So that is three hits today for Tanner Patrick after doing nothing in the last game. As that one sails, and it's going to drop. Patrick going to take himself to third now, as we got once again runners at the corners. So runners at the corners, 1-1 one, one count, top of the 7th, and Ruiz is on base, but he'll just line that one out, and that will end the 7th. Top of the ninth now, as it is 2-1, Bowie still on top, as swing and miss the change for Tanner Patrick here, 2-2 two, two counts. 3 for 4 today, all singles, as Patrick gets another hit. That one will not drop as once again they want to take it away from him with the sliding, fantastic highlight catch. Why they got to do that to him. Either way, a solid output nonetheless for him. Three of five today as Bowie will hang on to take this win from Richmond. So the Bay Sox now not looking too bad as they are doing fairly well in this series. And Patrick bouncing back from a very ugly first game against Richmond to a very good second game against the Flying Squirrels. So time for the third game of the series as that average has uh, skyrocketed up to a 261. Tanner, Patrick. So first at bat here of this ball game. Oh, oh, count nobody is on one. Gone, and that ball is sent into the gap a bit. It's still only going to be a single. But either way, first at bat, first hit of the day. So now he, we move to the top of the third as Patrick went nowhere. And he's going to try and bunt this one, but it just flies up and is an easy out. 
not gonna lie, my first time trying to bunt did not work well. It's 2 nothing here, Richmond on top currently, as that one just gonna be a ground out into a double play, as that is not a good situation there. Or I'm sorry, I believe that might have been just a uh, ground out to, to first, as he did get the boost for the... <laughs> For the uh, advance of the runner as that is the worst fail at trying to catch a ball in a highlight fashion. Barry Bogner with a two-run double there. Bogner would also uh, hit a home run. I believe it might have been in this game or the last. Bogner has become a rival in my opinion. As a uh, single here by Patrick to counteract the ground out from earlier. Top of the ninth, 2-4 ball game. Richmond on top, two men on, two men out. Patrick at the plate. So it's an 0-1 count following the strike. He swings at the curve, and that is going to be 0-2. Can Patrick get the hit? This is the big play, too. He's the last out. He gets the hit, and it is lined into the hands of the shortstop. That is going to be the end of this one. Richmond takes it. And Bowie falls again. Luckily, I believe there's still a 500 right now, I think. Could be wrong on that. But either way, that's going to bring us to an end of this one. I don't know how exactly I'm going to run simming stuff and all that and what games I'm going to simulate. But either way, we'll probably try and take this at a quicker pace. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the way I've been uh, putting this out. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you hate it, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Of course, check out the links in the description. And I will see you guys next time.